back in ETV. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Balcony TV London right now. Now, I'm really chuffed to be hanging out with my favourite quarter of what was JLS. Mm. It's Arishé with his brand new sound, OWS. Take it away. I won't mess you around again. I swear on my life You've not seen everything I am That's not what I'm like I've been a little bit proud, a little bit selfish A little bit cold, a little bit choked Don't let your hand slip out of my mind I know my heart doesn't always show But you've hit me way down below the waterline Just take me under one last time Before we go Well hard times were always gonna come Sooner or later we left love in the balance there So we can't fight the change I've been a little bit cold, a little bit lonely A little bit sour, a little bit shy Don't let your hands slip out of my mind I know my heart doesn't always show But you hit me way down Below the waterline Just take me under One last time Check it You complain, not dismiss, like tis tis You get this, the nerve of this chick I just wish on the words that we dished Hopeless, selfish, ain't exist Hoping, honest, I resist Ocean, timeless, the abyss Baby, hold on tight It's alright don't let your hand slip out of mine I know my heart doesn't always show But you hit me way down below the waterline Just take me under one last time Before we go, it's all over now Can't get over that It's all over now it's all over now, can't get over that It's all over now mm -hmm. Very nice, I'm going <laughs> to elegantly climb up here um, Dude, that was fantastic, thank <laughs> you so much So that was an exclusive acoustic version of Waterline Yes indeed Very yes, exciting, indeed. thank you for sharing with no us No worries at all fab. Now you've gone all a bit on LA on us, maybe You just uh, got back, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean I've been out there for two months But I'm back in the, in, at home in the UK, in London City You know, seeing all my people So Nesting. yeah, cool, yeah, good yeah. stuff So tell us about what you were doing out there Because you're working with some very cool people yeah. on this brand new sound I was, um, I was working with some uh, interesting people who have worked Worked with a lot of my inspirations and a lot of people that inspire me, um, you know, from you know Miguel to Coldplay to Drake, all these kind of guys, and you know, also coming back to the UK, um, you know, working with a lot of British guys as well. So you know, for me, I'm just kind of like I'm floating around, but I just whoever kind of gets a, gets what I'm doing, gets the vibe, you know, and is willing to take uh, a few risks musically and experiment a little bit. I'm just working with those kind of people. So yeah, not I, I'm kind of being outside of the box with this one. So yeah, we're just having fun making music. Nice, and talking of risks, I mean, it's a big thing for you to kind of come from what was such a huge success yeah. and really regraft and kind of start again. And mm. when you uploaded this track to SoundCloud, nobody knew it was you, yet yeah. it was bringing in some incredible hits, you know, yeah. lots of listens. What's it like kind of restarting the whole process again? Um, you know what, it's kind of crazy. I, I never even knew that I was going to continue doing music. 
to be honest with you. Um, I was like, it just, I, I, I just can't stay away from being creative for too long. So I just went in the studio and I was just like making music because I love it and making music for the fun of it and doing what I love and not thinking about, you know, all of these commercial things, like just enjoying it. So um, I was in the studio and the producer was like, oh, someone needs to hear this. Like people need to hear this, this music. And I was like, really? They're like, yeah. And I was like, OK, well, I'll put it on SoundCloud. I won't put my name to it. And then once I did that, you know, obviously it started attracting, you know, very positive attention and getting really positive feedback so we just kind of ran with it and i guess now i'm here doing this performance talking to you tina this is all kind of weird now Thanks so this is all kind of evolved in a really weird way so I don't, yeah i'm here of course, of course. and i mean it got picked up by good music uh with kanye west which is phenomenal who sort of you know and then led you to push a t yeah tell me through you know sort of how that oh, all came man, around that was insane you know we got a message on our soundcloud and it was uh from good music and they said uh, they really loved the record and they'd be interested in having a conversation so uh, you know we got in touch and um, they said that Pusha T uh, from formerly from the, the Clips the group the Clips the hip hop group uh, wants to jump on the record and we we're like what I was like this has got to be a prank someone's <laughs> got to be kidding me here and it wasn't a prank we sent them the, the parts and a week later um, an email came up saying Pusha T rap verse uh, for Waterline and I was and I press play and I heard his voice on it and I was like what <laughs> yeah who's impersonating like, Pusha T right yeah, now it was kind of like really really weird kind of thing but um I was just mad I was mad grateful and mad mad uh you know I was, I was just quite inspired as well because it was it showed that people at the, the top are still kind of you know out there scouting for talent and scouting for new music mm -hmm. and the fact that my my music caught their ears was was uh, was a blessing it's a great collab so tell yeah. me when you just mentioned just now that you weren't even sure you were going to stay in music yeah. what else were you considering um, you know, I've got my company, Overthrow, um, where I've got my artist, AME, who signed to, to that. Um, and I was just really kind of going to just, I think, focus on doing uh, music executive kind of stuff and, um, and growing my company slowly. Um, and that was kind of what I, was, I think I was just going to do. But, you know, it just everything seemed to just evolve uh, quite well. So I'm also really excited about AME, by the way. I don't mean to plug, but yeah. <laughs> Plug away, yeah, my yeah. friend. She's my protege, so. so oh, yeah. bless you. Yeah, well, we'll yeah. have to get her on. Yeah, you Send have to get her on. Let's check her on. I will. She's got a record out, actually, oh, as fantastic. well, coming out. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. But back to you for a second. Now, <laughs> no I want to find out. I mean, you're all about the abbreviations from JLS to OWS. Yeah. Um, we're chatting off camera earlier about how I'm going to call you Swadge, because that's <laughs> another anagram <laughs> of your yeah, name. Yeah. Um, Don't why? start that, Tina. Don't start that. The Hashtag Swadge. No, 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 no. The fans will pick you up on that. I know. My phone's going to be a light once more, thanks to you. Now, tell me, like, why did you find your new project name uh, you know inside yeah. of your name why, was there any other things that you must have thought this would be a good name for it that would be a good name for it it just, must be quite hard to decide do you know what I was in the studio and we were just like making music and again it was just in the creative process and I, I say a lot of like crazy when I'm in this vocal booth I never stick to the script so I don't just go in and sing a song I've never been like that I just kind of throw out different things and even if I sound like a mad guy like I sound like a lunatic <laughs> I'm still going to go for it and I'm going to go for, for it with conviction nice. so I was in the studio and we were doing one record and I was just shouting different things out yeah let's go da, 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 OWS and the producer kind of stopped and pressed the talk back and he was like oh what did you just say I said I don't know <laughs> and he re then he, repl he replayed it, and I said OWS. He said, "You said OWS." He said, "Said that's that's cool. It's you should swing to it. Yeah, maybe yeah. you should stick with that. You should think about that." And I was like, "No, nah, I can't do that." And he was like, "No, stick with it." And then I thought about it. And I was like, "Actually, yeah, yeah. it feels good. It kind of feels good. It feels it brand fits. new. So it's Sweet. fresh. Yeah, excellent." So just lastly, to wrap up with, what did the JLS voice and Kini sound? Oh man, yeah, they're really, really enjoying it. I, I know JB texted me the other day, said um, that he's thinking about coming to the show or whatever. So, so yeah, I mean, everyone's everyone's uh, enjoying the vibe, man. Everyone's enjoying the music. I think you know we're just trying to. What I'm doing musically is just very sincere. I'm just trying to put my heart and everything out, you know, in, through my music, and I want people just to just feel it. To be honest with you, so it's. Um, I think if you know, I, I, I think f for them, I guess as well, it's it's, uh, it's fresh for their ears, something really fresh, and I think for everyone. So yeah, I'm, I'm I just like I said, I've got to just do what I believe in, and 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 sing what's on my mind, and sing what's on my heart. Sweet. Well, we're very yeah. pleased. Thank you so much for showing off your sound with us, oh, and uh, so it's such a pleasure to have you here. Uh, OWS, check them out online, and we'll see you again very soon. Thank you. Back in ETV. <laughs>